video shows deputies told a state police officer she was under arrest for drunk driving. But 10 minutes later, they gave her a ride home instead. On special assignment, News 13's Lizay Mitri has that dash cam video in Alamogordo where she asked the sheriff if his deputies gave that state cop special treatment. The Otero County Sheriff's Department is looking into how its deputies handled the DWI investigation in February. And now you can see for yourselves what happened when deputies encountered Jessica Turner, a current state police officer and former deputy with the department here. Otero 911, was your emergency? A 911 call came in just after 7 p.m. on February 26 about a white pickup truck on Highway 82 near Alamogordo. He turns on his brakes and then he shuts them off and then he flashes them. I don't know what's but the guy's driving down Highway 82. I don't know how far he's going, but he almost hit me. I had to swerve off the road. The investigation led Otero County deputies to this white pickup truck off Highway 82, just six miles from the initial report. A police report noted the truck's engine was still warm and it smelled like alcohol inside. The vehicle wasn't running. Well, I called many yeah. units because I wasn't sure what was going on. When I pulled up, she was passed out over the steering wheel. I couldn't tell who it was. Deputy Chris Swanson soon recognized it was Jessica Turner, a current state police officer and former deputy with his department. Next problem being is I still hang out with her. Like we're pretty good friends. Despite his concerns, supervisors told Deputy Swanson to handle it like any other investigation. Okay. Video shows Turner struggle to walk a line and hold her balance for as long as she was instructed. After talking to his supervisors, Deputy Swanson breaks the news to Turner. Unfortunately, Ms. Turner, he's being placed under arrest for driving okay. while intoxicated. So, first of all, where have you found my keys in my vehicle? I have not found your keys. Okay, first of all, find my keys in my vehicle and then maybe you could. Okay. After she's told she's under arrest, Turner tells the deputies how to conduct their investigation, and they listen. I would have to say, let her go, give her a ride. A report states Sergeant Steve Odom made that call, saying there wasn't probable cause because no one found Turner's keys. Although in the video, deputies aren't seen looking for them either. In a normal DWI stop, would you search for the keys? Well, if you have a reason to search, you have to have probable cause to search. A state police officer on scene said he thought he saw keys in the ignition at one point, but couldn't swear to it. And Otero County Sergeant Sean Jett believed there was enough for an arrest. Did she get special treatment? I don't know. As instructed, Deputy Swanson gave his friend a ride home, but not before encouraging her to lock her truck. Do you have a means of locking it? Because I'm sure you have a firearm in there. You have a means of walking it. She leaves with a backpack in hand and rides away from what deputies earlier described as a bad situation. The sheriff says all his deputies are still on duty while an internal affairs investigation is still underway. We also know Odom, the sergeant who decided to let Turner go, is campaigning to be Otero County's next sheriff. On special assignment, Lizami Tree, KRQE News 13. Jessica Turner's boyfriend is Ryan Suggs, a deputy chief with state police who retired in February when Governor Susana Martinez appointed him as a judge. Turner is still on paid leave during an internal affairs investigation and could lose her job over this.